today I'm going to show you how to do a hydro dip tumbler. These are so super fun because they're going to give you a absolutely unique tumbler because no two hydro dips are the same. And I think that's really, really cool. If you're new here, my name is Allison and I post tumbler tutorials and crafting tutorials. So if you like to learn how to make new things and have fun while you're doing it, make sure that you subscribe. When you do a hydro dip tumbler, you can use either spray paint or the Easy Marble inks. And today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the Marabou Easy Marble inks to create that hydro dip. Either method that you choose, they're very, very similar, and I'm gonna walk you through that process. Today's tumbler, I started with a chunky glitter, so I'm gonna walk you through that process of the glittering portion and the hydro dipping portion. But if you don't wanna start with glitter and you just wanna start with a painted cup, that is fine too. Let me know in the comments if you've done either one of those methods. I would love to hear your experience. Let's go ahead and get started. You wanna start with a prepped tumbler. I am using a 20 ounce skinny from Craft Haven that I prepped by sanding. And I'm applying my base coat, which is the gray Flippin' Awesome from the Crystalac Company. Because I'm using a silver glitter, this gray works really, really well to get me full coverage. To apply my glitter, I am using Bright Tone. I prefer to brush it on, and I just feel like I get the best coverage that way. So I brush on my Bright Tone to completely cover my tumbler, and then I'm going to start with my chunky glitter. I am actually going to use my fingers to sprinkle on this glitter. It helps it lay flat and not like clump up and pile up on each other when you do this sprinkling method. You don't need 100% coverage because we're gonna go in and fix that in a minute. So sprinkle on your glitter, I would say about 90% coverage. This is called Bling from Glitzy Creations. I will put links and discount codes to all supplies in the description of this video. So go through and get your chunky glitter on your tumbler. Then go in with a matching fine. So this one is Disco Ball, and I'm just gonna go over the entire tumbler to fill in all of the spaces so I can have full coverage. This is my preferred method to applying chunky glitter. You will need a chunky and a matching fine. This needs to dry for four hours. Then you can go in with a paintbrush. I just use like a random brush and dry brush my tumbler to get off any excess glitter. Make sure you let your glitter completely dry before you do this. So go in with your brush and get off any excess glitter. And then we are going to move into sealing our glitter with the glitter glue. Pour it on and just brush it out. It does help to use a slightly damp brush to help it spread, but it's not necessary. So all you need to do is brush out your glitter glue so it is completely even. You don't want any thick spots. Um, it doesn't self-level like Bright Tone, so you just wanna brush it out until it is completely flat. I do like to put it on my cup turner after I brush it on and let it dry for two hours. Then I'm going to roll it in parchment paper to help that chunky glitter lay nice and flat. I do like to take my brayer roller and just really, really get it nice and flat because you need this to be completely smooth before you can move on to the hydro dip step. And the flatter your glitter, the quicker it's going to be. When I do chunky glitter, I always seal twice with my glitter glue. So right after I roll it in parchment paper, I'm just gonna go in with a second coat of glitter glue, get it fully covered just to help protect it and get it even more flat. It's just, I like to seal it with two coats. Again, put it on your cup turner after you brush it on and let it dry for two hours. After that second coat of glitter glue has dried, you can do the flattening process again. You really can't flatten it too much, right? You just wanna make sure that it is super, as flat as you can get it, so you can use less coats of Bright Tone. Then you can put your cup on the turner and apply your Bright Tone. Because this is a chunky glitter, I am going to apply five or six coats of Bright Tone. Make sure that you let each coat dry for four hours. You can apply Bright Tone with your finger or a brush like I'm doing here, but you wanna apply about five coats, maybe six, before you do your first sand. Remember, you're gonna have to sand a couple of times to get this completely smooth. 
For your first sand, keep the pressure very light. You don't wanna scratch your glitter. So just lightly go around the entire tumbler. You're going to clean it off with either a damp paper towel with water or you can use the surface conditioner and then you're gonna go in and do more coats of Bright Tone. From here, you can switch to sanding every three or four coats. So once you get that first sand, you're gonna then do three or four more coats of Bright Tone, sand a second time, and because this is a chunky glitter, you're likely gonna have to do three more coats and sand again before you have a completely smooth surface. If you are newer to glitter and using chunky glitter, it may even take more sandings than that. You just need to keep going until you get a completely smooth surface. Make sure you let each coat of Bright Tone dry for four hours before you apply another coat. So once you have your tumbler glittered and completely smooth, you are ready for your hydro dip. Before we get into the actual hydro dipping, I promise we're almost there. I wanna talk about the marble inks that I use. I'm using the Marabou Easy Marble inks. I used neon pink, black, silver, and pearl white. So I used four different colors and it worked really, really nicely. But I think one of the hardest things about hydro dipping and making this style tumbler is figuring out what colors to even use. So if you want, you can test your color combinations by hydro dipping on like a scrap piece of wood or a scrap piece of like PVC pipe or anything just to see how the colors kind of work with each other and make sure that you have a good ratio of each, right? You don't have to dip your tumbler before you dip anything else. If you are ready and you know, by all means, dive in and go for it. But if you wanna practice and just test out your color combinations, you can actually hydro dip literally anything that you can stick into a bucket. One thing I recommend is stirring up your marble inks. If you have like a little skewer or something to stick in there just to stir it up, shaking it wasn't quite good enough for me. So if your paints have been sitting or if you just ordered them, make sure you stir them before you actually do your hydro dip. Let me show you how to do it. It's easier than you think. To do a hydro dip tumbler, I again, I'm using these easy marble paints. I have a bucket of like room temperature water, and it is mostly full. You wanna make sure that you can dip your entire tumbler in that bucket, but you don't really want it to overflow, so make sure you use a big enough bucket with enough water. I'm just going to drop in my paints. Like I said, I have four different colors, and I'm just randomly dropping them in. It is completely random, and it does not matter. In fact, that's what makes these tumblers unique is that each piece is gonna change it up just a little bit. So I have silver, black, pink, and then I went in with my pearl white. At this point, this should have been it, but I couldn't just let it go. So I went in with even more of my paints, especially with more black, and I honestly overdid it. Less is more when it comes to hydro dipping. So I should have left it and this ended up being too much black. So just be careful, especially with a dark color, it's gonna overpower your design. It ended up working out, but just you don't need to overdo it. You really only need a little bit of paint. And you may want to wear gloves um, just to protect your hands. So then I took a skewer and just sort of like pulled and mixed up these colors to cr just kind of mix it up a little bit before I went in with my tumbler. So I have my tumbler on my drying rack wrapped in a grocery bag and I just went in at an angle, twisting and turning this cup as I went. And then I shook it out before I removed that cup. Then you can go ahead and tap off any extra water wherever possible. I did kind of have to like empty out the top, but I absolutely am obsessed with this hydro dip. I think these colors work really well together. You can see there is a lot of black, like I said. So if I were to do this exact color combination again, I would take it easy on this black, but you can see that silver glitter poking through. You can see all of the different colors in a very, very unique marble design. There are so many possibilities with different color combinations and glitters for these tumblers. Once you finish the hydro dip, you can like tap off as much water as you can and just let it dry completely. I am a Crystalac user, so you need to let this dry three to five days before you put on your bright tone. You don't need to seal it. You don't need to do anything special. You just need to let it dry 
three to five days before you add your bright tone. This particular tumbler, I did about six coats of bright tone on top of this hydro dip and then I was done. If you want to learn more about the glittering process, if you're interested in using Crystal Act and best practices for applying your glitter, I'm going to put a video up on your screen so you can learn more about that.